Hey guys, we're gonna go drop off this car right here and uh, hopefully look at some other gold mines and fill the trailer back up. Look at a nice bus. Y'all don't wanna mess it. Today on Auto Auction Flips. And we are here. He's got a lot of stuff here. A lot of cool stuff. And in that garage there is a GT40. Right here is a fake one on the outside. So we're going to look at this uh, stuff and uh, see if uh, we can make some deals. He loves to trade. So uh, that's what I like to do too. I love to trade. So let's go in and see what he has. He has a dog. I don't need no more dogs. Uh, that is the Corvette I traded for some other stuff. Uh, but that is the bus. It's a nice bus. We'll look at it in a couple of minutes. Private coach. Let's see how private this is. Oh, come on. Oh, he's got it locked. Oh, we got a, oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, pull that muscle again. <laughs> I accidentally tripped him. Uh, it looks like he's been driving it, though. <laughs> uh, hmm. It's a bluebird. It's no provost. He told me it was a, a provost. A prevo or whatever. He, I mean, I can tell the lights are on, but that's about it. Oh, shit. Looks shitty to me. I don't know. We have we have to get inside. But let's let's go see what else he got. Oh, Is it bad? It needs remodeled. It needs remodeled. <laughs> it, it looks like it's been gutted. Ooh, check that out. Record, man. Custom built frame. Hmm. You know, a lot of y'all may see a, a lot of work, but all the hard work is actually done. He's got the stretch frame. It's definitely not a Fiero frame. Looks pretty damn good. Oh, you know, and I like the way it sits. But at the end of the day, you still have a a fake car. <laughs> I guess it is a Provost. Hmm. Oh, it's got the new floor in there. That, uh, see how I got this side? Well, let me show you. See that board laying down right there? Yeah. See how see how I got that on there? That goes over here. Right. But I, the guy that I done that had my upholster gun died. So now I got it needs to be back here, and then the windows will be down right down here. It's got a heater and burner and. and uh, It's in there, but it, I've got the plumbing for it. So. And there's where the stool goes. There's a stool goes right there. And you got the holding tanks. See here? 
Well, let's try that one more. Just got to move it again. Right here. Oh, I see. I see, that's way to go. Hmm. Got a nice curio and a nice TV and... I can't reach it. There we go. Now leave it over there. Supposed to be on, but I don't see it being on. There, there we go. Okay. Oh, okay. These lights supposed to come on when the, when this button here is on. Do you, you have all the panels for the walls? Yeah. Did you turn it back off? No. Uh, you want me to turn it off? Here we go. Well, we know the inverter works. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the, the inverter works. Now, look here. There's a new oven for it. You see your stove. Holy shit. This guy is a pack rat. That is the avalanche I got from him. We just had to load up that whole white car with nothing but freaking absolute junk. And he wanted every nut and bolt in that car. And it was filled up with nuts and bolts. The whole back end was filled up. But uh, to say the truth, this is a a nice uh, looking avalanche. Um, it's not all beat up or anything. I'm gonna sell this one for good money. And it's a four by four. Well, but you name it. He's got it. Oh my goodness. Even in his front yard is just full of a bunch of junk trucks. You know, I don't know if he ever, like, gets something put together. Or is it all junk? And all, everything here is supposed to run. Everything here is supposed to run good. And drive good, I don't know. Hey, if y'all see anything that y'all want, uh, he is selling everything here. Uh, so if y'all see anything that y'all need, let me know. Because uh, he's selling it for pretty cheap. still want that bus. I can work wonders with that bus on the inside. Uh, especially that generator. Got a huge diesel generator. And I know someone is needing this uh, Dodge Cummins right here, especially that damn transmission that's on that Dodge. Someone is definitely needing that. Got old Ford 6.0. Got another wrecker right there, golf carts. I mean, to me, it's a bunch of junk. I mean, but sometimes I like junk. crazy <laughs> guess what the uh, Versa needs y'all will never guess in a million years one two three BAM transmission of course Guy's grumpy today, so I don't know if he's gonna open that garage for me to so I can see the real GT40. 
because what he did was he made um, he used to sell custom kits but he had to buy a real GT40 to get all the uh, alignment right and um, making uh, the uh, parts for it I don't know is what it is but this is a a picker's dream I guess I do like this uh, bus though so. but you know me and buses I could sell this motherfucker but what I would do is I would um I would uh, fix the interior first because you're not going to get nothing for it uh, if you don't do the interior. This is a Z28. Nice Z28. And it's a six speed manual. Pretty nice car. It says it has, uh, let's see, 114,000 miles. It's pretty badass. Sounds like the time and chain or something in this is off. It's starting, but it's, I mean, it's turning over, but it's not turning over like it's supposed to. But that's okay. If I have to swap an engine in this, I will. The engines are pretty cheap, uh, and I believe I have one. So, and this is a very nice vehicle inside and out. Worth it. It's a $4,500 to $5,000 vehicle tax time, baby. Uh, this one started up great. Um, he said the motor didn't have any oil pressure, but <laughs> it's just the um, uh, it's just the uh, oil pressure switch. That's it. So we're gonna load up this and uh, rock and roll and get it done, baby. What's up? Key? Oh, well, you would probably need that if you want to do anything. Ow. I mean, I would ask you to get out of my pocket, but, hey, I think that's kind of weird. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so he did tell me that that bus runs absolutely perfect, uh, that he would drive it anywhere. So going off that assumption, I want it. He's already came down $20,000 on that bus. And we haven't even started negotiating. You know, the key factor in negotiating, don't act like you want it too much. Because if, I mean, it's like anything. If they see blood in the water, then they're going to attack. If they see you want that, and they're going to hold steady at the price. Me, I'm like, ah, it's too rough. I think it's too rough. It's right on that borderline of too rough. I mean, but we'll see if I get it. Uh, he's wanting like $8,000 in trades for that bus. And it is a 95 Prevost. I don't know why they put bluebird on it's got a flag it says bluebird something but it's not a bluebird it is a provost prevost or whatever uh i looked at the vin plate and everything so, i don't know here we go loaded on the the trailer right now Guess I can help him with this part. <laughs> well, we know the four by four works in that truck. It's awfully slippy over there. Slippery, not slippy. 